The world we live in is chock full of crazy and colorful creatures, but a few are so seldom seen that you'd be forgiven for thinking they're mythical beings. From deep in the oceans to high in the trees, these crazy critters can hide just about anywhere. So put on your khaki clothes and grab your binoculars, because we're about to go on a safari of some of the strangest wild animals that have rarely been seen. Curious Cuscus The dense forests of northern New Guinea are home to thousands, if not millions, of animal species. But there's one slinking about in the darkness that's as confusing as it is captivating. This is the Black Spotted Cuscus, a mysterious marsupial that looks like a cross between a cat, a fox, and a monkey. Though we don't know much about it, what we do know is fascinating. For start, those snake-like eyes are very useful for seeing in the dark. Much like cats and foxes, the Cuscus's vertically slit pupils allow it to see excellently at night, while also blocking out harmful daylight in the sunlit hours. As well as being nocturnal, these freaky furballs are arboreal, meaning they live in trees. Using their arched front claws and 20-inch tail, they nimbly navigate the very tips of the treetops in search of tasty fruits and leaves. But even though they seem safe up there, they've been pushed to the brink of extinction thanks to deadly deforestation and human hunting efforts. And now, so little is known about these animals that we don't even know how many of them are left in the wild. That's enough to make anyone cuss. Hidden Desmond In Catalonia's Al Pirineu National Park, a strange combination of a rat, mole, and platypus scurries around on the ground entirely undetected. That is, until it's caught. This elusive little animal is a Pyrenean desmin. Using its twitchy, trunk-like nose, it roots through mud and crevices for insects and fish like a tiny, carnivorous elephant. Unlike an elephant, though, these little critters are also amphibious. They can close their nostrils and ears while swimming, and their paddle-like paws allow them to zip through the water like some sort of furry fish. But because this minute mammal is only about five inches long, nocturnal, and lightning fast, it's very hard to spot. The little pocket rocket is so hard to study, in fact, that researchers have resorted to hunting for its poop instead. It's a dirty way of extracting DNA from the animals without having to dive into the water after them. But I think those researchers are looking in the wrong places, because some Desmond seem to care more about having fun than running away. Now, these animals might be difficult to spot, but you don't need a pair of eagle eyes to see those like and subscribe buttons down below. Go ahead and hit them up. All right, all done? Great, now what's next? Goody Beauty. If you're scared of spiders, I suggest you look away now. Because the Goody Tarantula is as spine-tinglingly scary as it is bizarrely beautiful. The sapphire spider was first found in the town of Goody, southern India, in 1899, before completely disappearing for 102 years until it was spotted again in 2001. You might be wondering how something so strikingly blue with a huge 8-inch leg span could possibly vanish for so long. But that's because the goody is actually a very timid tarantula. Instead of attacking, the spider will opt to flee in most situations. And as a tree dweller, it often lurks high above eye level staying well out of sight of most humans. But if provoked, it will bite, and its poisonous fangs are so potent that they can leave humans in intense pain for over a week. Not that it seems to bother this man who actually owns one of these incredibly rare creatures. They're not exactly my idea of a cute pet, though some are kept in captivity, it's almost impossible to find them in the wild, because their habitats are being destroyed by deforestation. No wonder they look so blue. Sky High Funny Guy The mountaintops of the Khao Ka forests in northern Vietnam 
are so high, parts of them soar spectacularly above the clouds. Although that's not the forest's most incredible feature. Because it's here, in trees perched up to 4,000 feet above sea level, that the Tonkin snub-nosed monkeys climb. They may sound majestic, but up close, they look a lot more like clowns. With a blue face, bright white eyes, and huge pink lips, it looks like the poor primates tried to put makeup on without a mirror. Even their babies are born looking like they're about to perform in a drag show. But we shouldn't laugh because they're actually one of the 25 most endangered primate species in the world. Today, only about 200 are left in the wild, thanks to intense poaching and massive habitat loss. Looks like this primate's appearance is the least of its problems. A sizable squid Despite their huge size, it's still very rare to catch a sighting of an aptly named giant squid. And that's because these colossal cephalopods usually live in the darkest depths of the ocean, around 2,000 feet below the waves. So elusive are these massive sea monsters that it wasn't until 2006 that the first footage of one was captured, taken off the coast of Japan. But considering there are an estimated 4.3 million giant squids swimming around, the lack of sightings is astounding. This injured squid, however, off the coast of Cape Town in South Africa, must have lost its way. It's possible the animal was attacked by a sperm whale, their only known predator, or it could have gotten into a fight with one of its own kind. Scientists know from cutting open giant squid carcasses that they live on a diet of deep water fish and even other giant squids, so many things possible. They show no interest in feasting on human flesh though, which is lucky because the eight-armed titans also have two long feeding tentacles lined with razor-sharp, serrated suckers. Using these, they can snatch prey up to an astonishing 33 feet away. Then they reel the unfortunate cargo toward them before munching it into tiny pieces with their powerful beaks. Considering the behemoths can grow up to 43 feet long, which is about the size of seven to eight adults, I don't think a human would stand much of a chance against one. And what's more, the growth rings on statoliths, which are small, mineralized masses that help squids to balance, suggest that they don't live any longer than five years. So they must grow at an insane pace and need an equally insane amount of food to sustain all that growth. Okay, now I'm really glad they don't have a taste for human, or we'll all be in deep water. Brilliant Bumblebee Bat You'd better look really closely if you want to get a glimpse of this miniature creature. With a body slightly over an inch long that weighs even less than a penny, the bumblebee bat is believed to be the smallest mammal in the entire world. It's so small that, unlike other bats, it can actually hover in the air like a hummingbird and dart away just as quickly. But it's not just its tiny size that means it's hardly ever seen. It's also classed as a vulnerable species in Thailand and Myanmar, where it lives. Like regular bats, they cling to the ceilings of caves in clusters during the day. But monks that use the bats' caves to meditate in, and tourists trying to spy the rare animals, have disturbed and damaged these precious natural habitats. That's not to say that the flying furballs haven't fought back, though. Reddit user Skididily Do recalled a tour guide's tale about a group of tourists who noisily tramped around one of these caves, waking all the little bats clustered high above. And they were not. Not happy. Furiously, the crazy critters swooped down from the ceiling and pelted themselves at the tourists like a big, fuzzy hailstorm. Well, I definitely wouldn't be hanging around if that happened to me. Secretive Sea Pigs Despite the name, ocean-dwelling sea pigs will not respond to being called babe and don't have curly pink tails either. 
Unlike their namesakes, sea pigs are actually a type of sea cucumber that live in the deepest, darkest, coldest places of the ocean, some four miles below the surface. And even though they're very common down there, they live in such an extreme location that you and I will probably never see one with our own eyes. Which is a shame, because they're so strange I could sit and watch them for hours. Even though these bloated, water-filled sausages only grow about six and a half inches long, they're bigger than almost everything else at these depths. But if anything does try to eat them, they possess a poisonous skin to help repel the attacker. Not that anything with half a brain would try to eat it. I mean, imagine putting that creepy little thing in your mouth. Ugh. As such, they spend most of their days happily sucking up detritus from the ocean floor, completely carefree. I guess they must be happy as a pig in mud. Private Purple Frog I have a riddle for you. What's about the size of your palm, has the nose of a pig, and is the color of Barney the Dinosaur? If you somehow guessed this frog, then you have my respect. The lumpy, squishy purple frog is such a peculiar shape that it's been dubbed the donut frog by some. Though, sadly for my waistline, I'll see a lot more donuts in my lifetime than I will purple frogs. This species lives underground and only emerges to breed for a few brief hours a year. In fact, the frog is so elusive that it took scientists until 2003 to discover it even existed. This is partly because it only lives in the Periyar region of India. It might also be because its mating call sounds less like a frog and more like a lost chicken. Usually, these frogs call from the burrows and nests they make underground. Here, baby tadpoles are born from eggs, laid in crevices, holes, and the underside of stones, and spend 100 days developing while clinging to bedrocks. Then, when they've grown into their fully fleshy form, they burrow deep underground and use their pointed snout to gobble up ants and termites. The only time they travel to the surface at all is during mating season, while the male hilariously rides the female to the surface. I guess that's one way to ride your partner. Astonishing Amur Leopard if ever an animal could be more different from the bloated blob we just saw, it's the Amur leopard. This beautiful big cat lives in Russian and Chinese rainforests and can run up to a blazing fast 37 miles per hour. But even with such incredible speed, sadly, it can't outrun poachers, who have hunted it to the point where only 70 remain in the wild. Today, the Amur leopard is the world's most endangered cat, and its uniqueness has been its biggest downfall. The cat's coat can grow almost three inches thick due to the cold climate, and is paler than other leopard's coats. Unfortunately, this makes it very attractive for poachers looking to make a profit on the gorgeous fur. But thanks to conservation efforts by Russia and China, Amur leopard numbers are increasing again in their native forest habitat. And when they're hidden amongst the trees, it's hard not to see why they're known as the greatest stalkers and climbers of all the big cats. Amazingly, Amur leopards can tackle prey up to 10 times their own body weight and then carry all that weight with them up trees to hide the kills from other predators. However, there are also about 200 Amur leopards in captivity, where, as you can see, they enjoy a luxurious lifestyle with all the creature comforts provided. I look, watch them playing, it's brilliant. So cute, aren't they, bro? Okay. Patient Potu. Despite standing up to two feet tall with bulging bright yellow eyes and a massive mouth, the great Potu isn't an obvious animal. Even with all its freaky features, this South and Central American bird is actually a master of disguise using its molted brown color to blend in seamlessly with the trees it rests on. It can hold this rigid position all day and even during storms, so that no potential predators spot it. Even while sleeping, it remains staunch to its post and, crazily, can detect approaching predators by using narrow openings at the bottom of its eyelids. 
So these incredible creatures can see with their eyes closed. But when the night falls, the great Potu springs to life. Plucking beetles and moths out of the air with that big beak, it only stops feeding to make a strange, haunting cry that echoes around the woods it lives in. Ugh, and I thought they just looked creepy. Odd Okapi At a glance, what sort of animal would you say the lesser-known Okapi is? Did those stripes on its behind make you think it was a member of the zebra family? Well, despite those signature streaks, Okapis are actually the only living relative of the giraffe. While it doesn't look like much of a giraffe on the outside, one trait it does share with its stretched-necked cousins is a long black tongue. Like giraffes, Okapi use their terrifying tongues to reach up and strip buds and leaves from trees. But they also use it to groom themselves and even lick their own ears and eyelids with the 18-inch monstrosity. However, when they're not licking their own eyes, these secretive animals wander the Ituri forest in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the only place they can be found in the wild. Although you probably wouldn't find any if you went looking yourself. Not only are the Okapi well camouflaged, but those big upright ears are super sensitive to sound too. So they'd hear you and scamper along before you saw them. Scientists have also discovered that as well as their normal bleats, Okapi have a secret language using frequencies so low humans can't hear the slightest sound at all. And it's a good job they're skilled at avoiding people, because sadly, they're hunted extensively, and now only about 25,000 remain in the wild. Turtle Trouble Softshell turtles come in all shapes and sizes, from the fairly common Florida variety all the way up to their narrow-headed Indian cousins. But the big daddy of them all is, without a doubt, the Yangtze Giant Softshell Turtle. At more than 440 pounds, these phenomenal freshwater creatures continuously grow for more than 100 years, to weigh about the same as three adult humans. But despite their enormous size and weight, there are so few left in the wild that your chances of seeing one are next to none. Due to pollution, hunting, and the destruction of their wetland habitats in China and Vietnam, the species is as close to extinction as it's possible to be. In grand total, just five of these weird-looking turtles are left in the whole world. And what's more, of the five we know of, only one is female. So conservationists in Vietnam are on a mission to get her to mate with a male. So far, there's been no luck. But females can lay up to a whopping 40 eggs at a time. So there's still hope that the turtles could be saved within a year. Vanishing Vaquita also competing for the title of world's rarest animal, we have the vaquita. Of the seven species of porpoise, vaquitas are the second smallest, weighing around 95 pounds, which is less than half the weight of the largest porpoises. And though not quite as rare as the Yangtze softshell turtle, there are only around 10 of these adorable ocean critters alive today. In fact, the pretty porpoises are so rarely seen that until recently, many people believed they were mythical creatures. But even if there were more in the wild, they'd still be pretty difficult to spot as they're only about four feet long. They do, however, have a relatively big dorsal fin, which scientists believe is used to dissipate heat. This is needed because vaquitas live exclusively in much warmer waters than many other porpoises. Sadly, vaquita numbers are dwindling because of illegal fishing operations in Mexico's Gulf of California, where the very last of these amazing animals live. Fishermen regularly cast out nets to hunt totoaba fish, which are also endangered, and in doing so, accidentally snag vaquitas as well. So, despite looking like they're smiling, there really isn't a whole lot for these guys to smile about. Doom in the Gloom Imagine swimming down into the ocean, reaching the crushing dark depths almost a mile below the waves when, all of a sudden, this terrifying face emerges from the blackness. Oh, Jesus, what's your mother doing down here? All jokes aside, this is the aptly named Goblin Shark. 
And despite its looks, this deep sea lurker poses no danger to humans because it lives at depths of around 4,300 feet. Which is lucky because just one look at its massive jaws is enough to make anyone never want to step foot in the ocean again. With anywhere between 31 and 62 rows of teeth, it has no problem crushing, cutting, and chewing up any crustaceans and small fish it can find on the ocean floor. And it's an excellent hunter too, utilizing its special low-density flesh to silently drift toward prey without alerting them. Most terrifyingly of all though, when the 12-foot stalker is close enough to its catch, it does something truly unique. In one swift movement, the goblin shark can dislocate its jaw and propel all 62 rows of teeth forward at a ferociously fast 10.2 feet per second. I don't know about you, but that definitely made my jaw drop. Terrific Tenric At first glance, you'd be mistaken for thinking this yellow-streaked mouse-like creature is some kind of long-lost Pokemon. But you wouldn't find it lurking in the long grass because this is a lowland-streaked Tenric, and it prefers to spend its time in underground burrows throughout eastern Madagascar. Because of their subterranean lifestyle, very little is known about these creatures, including how many even exist. But what we do know is crazy. Living in groups of around 20, the Tenrics communicate to each other using special quills found along their 6-inch bodies. By rubbing their quills together, they make sounds through stridulation. It's the same process crickets use when they rub their legs together to make chirping noises, but Tenrix are the only mammals in the world that do this. But their knack for clever communication doesn't mean they aren't up for a fight. If threatened, these spiny little beasts raise their quills around their neck and will violently buck their head at their attacker. So I wouldn't recommend trying to catch these tiny terrors, with or without a Pokeball. Ridiculous Rhinos now the super rare Sumatran rhino may not look all that tiny, but they are the smallest of their kind in the world. If you were to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of these tiny rhinos, you'd probably tower over them as they only stand up to 5 feet tall. But I wouldn't underestimate the full force of these 2,000-pound powerhouses, because if one charged at you, it would be like getting smacked in the stomach by two racehorses at once. While their size certainly makes them stand out, it's the luscious locks covering their body that really sets them apart from the rest of the rhino family. This is because they're the closest living relative to the woolly rhino, a long extinct species that last roamed the earth around 12,000 years ago, during the Ice Age. Unfortunately, if trends continue, hair might not be the only thing Sumatran rhinos share with their extinct woolly cousins. Due to habitat loss and fragmented populations, the number of Sumatran rhinos has declined across Asia, and now fewer than 80 survive on the Indonesian islands of Sumatra and Borneo. But even in captivity, only two females have reproduced in the last 15 years. Take a look at one of their most recent babies. Cute, right? Or kind of creepy? Man, I just can't decide. Let me know what you think in the comments. Elephant Shrews I'm sorry to let you down, but you're not about to see the result of elephants crossbreeding with shrews. However, the elephant shrew, also known as Sengi, is a very odd little animal nonetheless. Ranging from about 4 to 12 inches long, these miniature mammals sport trunk-like noses that they use to efficiently find and hoover up juicy grubs and insects. They're so effective at searching for creepy crawlies that they play a vital role in keeping insect populations down around South Africa. But natural disasters like droughts and forest fires have led to a worrying decline in Sengi numbers over the past decade. And even before this, the shrews were highly elusive animals. So elusive, in fact, the Somali Sengi disappeared completely in the 1970s and wasn't officially seen again for a whole 50 years. Recently, however, a team of scientists in Djibouti, East Africa, set more than 1,000 traps in 12 different locations to see if the little critters were still around. Their traps were covered in an extensive combination of foods like peanut butter, oatmeal, and even yeast. After all this effort, though, they only found 12 of the shy shrews. 
Maybe they should have tried something that smells and tastes like bugs instead, like my mother-in-law's cooking. Shocking shoebill. Lurking in the swamps of eastern Africa, giant statues of prehistoric-looking birds are perched over the water's edge. But for all their stillness, these aren't actually statues. They're shoebill storks. At a shocking five foot tall, these intimidating creatures can stand stone still for hours on end, waiting for prey to pass by. And the second something catches their ominous eyes, they leap into action, striking with their huge serrated bills and completely engulfing whatever's unfortunate enough to have gotten near. And shoebills are known to eat massive, six and a half foot long monitor lizards, as well as baby crocodiles, so nothing is safe. And then they swill out any excess water from their bill before decapitating their food. Are you scared yet? Well, despite this daunting demeanor, the shoebill's method of keeping cool is much less intimidating. The birds actually poop themselves, and as the putrid liquid slides down their hot legs, it evaporates, cooling the animals down as it does so. Somehow, that makes them even scarier. Uh, never underestimate an animal, or human, that isn't afraid to poop themselves in front of you. And despite their rancid reputation, though, shoebills are actually very docile around humans and are important predators in the ecosystem they live in. Even so, they're understandably seen as bad omens and are mercilessly hunted, even today. Their swamp habitats are also being destroyed by humans, and now less than 6,000 of them exist in the wild. As much as I find them terrifying, I'd be sad to see them gone. Just as long as they don't poop themselves anywhere near me. So, do you have a favorite out of all the animals you just saw? And have you ever spotted something so rarely seen that you think it belongs on this list? Let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.